To say hockey fans attend games for 60 minutes of friendly competition is probably stretching the truth. Especially when they have a front row seat to this. But under new rules, Amarillo Bulls forward Riley Christensen paid for his punches. I was kicked out for the rest of the game because they call it stage fighting, which this year you can't do. You can't just drop your gloves or off a draw. I think fighting gets uh, it's a big motivator. It gets the guys going and makes them play at their best. This season, the North American Hockey League, along with USA Hockey, discourages fighting for player safety. Last year, the NAHL saw 781 major fights. This season, that number's down to around 300. Well, it's definitely different, especially in Amarillo. The past couple years, they've been a pretty hard-nosed team to play against, and it takes a, a big chunk out of the game that you know the fans like to see, the players like to see. I don't like it. I think it kind of makes makes guys think that they can get away with stuff because they think like, oh, like no one's gonna fight me or I don't have to fight. Like if someone hits one of our guys from behind or something like that, and I go up and like say like, hey, like, like we got to fight right now. Like, oh no, like I don't want to sit in the box for 15 minutes. To me, that's just an excuse. Bulls assistant coach Mike Watts spent 11 years in the National Hockey League. He says taking fighting out of hockey may not be the best solution for player safety. You know, there was there was fighting. You know, when I was in youth hockey, there was fighting. I, I think that because you know, when you get into the pro leagues, there is a lot more physicality. There's there's fighting. Um, you know, if if there's dirty plays. Uh, you kind of have to man up for your action, and that's, that's something where if the kids aren't prepared for it, it's probably even more dangerous. Coach Watts says this new code of conduct has also caused inconsistency in refereeing. He says if fighting is eliminated, it'll be up to the refs to keep the game under control. One wrong call or no call can change the flow of the game. You know, I've seen a lot of dirty hits where there's nothing. There might not even be a call made by the official, and you see that, and, and it's just as... as potentially dangering or career ending as as a fight. For more information about the code of conduct, you can visit nahl.com.